and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. So, where do I start with this video? I've got a couple of really special items here to show you. Um, we're updating the website uh, Friday, as usual, and we're fortunate enough to have obtained um, a few items here which just have to be shown on video. Um, please excuse my attire, uh, I completely forgot today that I was filming a video, so didn't dress for the occasion, but it's not about me, it's about the stuff. So I'm just going to run through here some of the stuff that I've got um, coming on to, to the update um, tomorrow. So the first piece is this lovely SS sword here, the first one here in front of you. Now this is the, um, the SS sword presented to SS General Theodore Visch. Um, it comes with the citation pen signed by Heinrich Himmler, addressed to, to Vish, and um, with its original bag, with its original knot that's always been with it. And how we know it's his um, is because on the, um, the end of the pommel engraved are his initials TW, and on the throat of the uh, scabbard is his SS number, which of course corresponds with, with um, his, his paperwork. He was a very good career soldier. He was one of the first 120 members of the of the um, SS. Liebstar Adolf Hitler worked his way up to become Brigade Führer. He led the SS troops in Russia, Italy, France, wounded many times, um, survived the war, went on into agricultural sales after the war, and then he eventually died in the 1980s. Um, this has been sold off by his family some, some time ago. Uh, a very, very important piece. Uh, recently in auction, his SS citation sold for, I think, about £110,000. That tells you how important this guy is. Um, and we're lucky enough to own this sword. Um, as I said, it's on sale on the website. I think, from memory, it's about £28,000. You know, it's a big investment. But proof um, has always been there that these investments they pay off in the long run you're far off better buying an item like that enjoying it over a period of 10 years than um, seeing the money in the bank or investing it in a in a car where you'll lose money these are good investments but a fantastic piece there and right next to it here another ss sword now this is a really interesting piece and it will appeal to a lot of our of our customers because I must get asked all the time, any history, any provenance, where did it come from? And, and my, my default answer is, is that, look guys, this, this stuff is in the hands of collectors now. It's now years and years since the war. Um, all the veterans have died off. Very rarely do we get a piece with, with history knowing where it's come from. And just a few days ago, um, I had a phone call from two brothers in the Norfolk area of England, whose father, um, had brought this back from the war and they came over to me I met them they chatted uh, for a long time about what he did and the history of what he did and all of that will be in the description on our website if I can briefly um, just give you an overview he was in the Scottish Signals Division um, he was D-Day um, plus six so Normandy veteran he fought his way all the way through 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 the war all the way into Germany to the end of the war um, and he brought this sword back with him um, uh, uh, from the war as a souvenir. It has its original sword knot on it, hanging strap. And then also I have all of his medals as well, um, named to him. He also brought back a, a German World War II compass, a small little piece um, compared with the sword. But fantastic that I know this guy's history. Um, fascinating speaking to his two sons who, had, you know, they'd, they'd looked after this sword. They hadn't abused it at all um, all these years. And now they're old and they're at an age where, where, you know, they might as well pass it on to someone who's going to appreciate it. So we're, you know, really pleased to have something with lovely, lovely provenance. Just behind that here, moving away from the, you know, the, the, the decorative side of military, this is a piece of equipment here, which is the first one that I've ever owned. It's the ankle strap, the leg strap uh, from the uh, Luftwaffe, you know, for, for example, for a Luftwaffe flight mannequin and uh, the flare strap. So the, the flares would be held in the, uh, the strap attached to the foot, an extremely rare piece of kit. As I said, the first one I've ever owned, that will be on the website. I think it's gonna be about 650 pounds, but again, another great investment. Uh, moving across here, you'll see this fantastic Knight's Cross. Now, this is the best Knight's Cross that I have ever owned. Um, it's a Lazy 2 Junker, uh, marked 800 on the ring and on the medal. It's 
pristine condition in its original box, original ribbon, but most importantly, it has its outer casing. That's the first one I've ever had. I have seen them before, um, one or two, but this is the first one I've ever owned and just absolutely stunning. Yeah, this will be on our website. I think it will probably say uh, price on request. Um, it's gonna be, for the information of the video, it's gonna be touching nearly 30,000 pounds. But for the person who wants a Knight's Cross, this is the one, this is the one to own. Um, you, you're never gonna better it really. Um, fantastic piece. And then just behind it here, I've got a little ensemble um, of the paratrooper smock and gas mask and helmet because these pieces are also on the on the um, on the update tomorrow. Um, they're from the big collection that we've currently uh, listing. We've done two updates so far. We're on to our third one this week, I think. Um, and yeah, fantastic pieces. It's a converted uh, paratrooper smock. Um, so it was originally a step in, which has been factory adapted into a um, one you open and close. They're known as the converted. You know, they're, they're widely uh, described in the book Fauschenjäger Volume One. Uh, early paratrooper gas mask, lovely condition, and of course the FJ6 paratrooper helmet. Fantastic pieces. Oh, we are doing an update tomorrow. Um, after that, I might give it a, uh, a week's rest because I just can't keep up with the with the with the work. Uh, constant emails asking sizes, asking postage prices. I say to you guys all the time on my emails, don't wait for questions. If you if you want it, buy it. We can sort out the postage cost later. We can sort out if it's a layaway later. Um, if you want it, buy it. Otherwise, you will miss out. Um, things are selling extremely fast through the updates. We're listing up and it's going straight away because people are, 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 you know, they know what's coming, they're expecting it, they're, they've made their decisions already. Um, the next update that we do do after, after this one will be a medical special. I've got from the same collection, lots and lots of medical uh, equipment, um, small little pieces which are extremely rare, uh, fantastic pieces, I love the medical stuff. So that's gonna be a special for our next update. Um, you know, th this is it. Great stuff. Um, hope you're enjoying the updates. Um, you know, as I said in the, in the, in the video at the start, investment, this militaria has become an investment. It's not just about collecting the stuff. If you've got spare money in your bank, enjoy the stuff, spend your money on the stuff because you can't go wrong. I'm selling stuff now, the water bottles with the orange cup, the or water bottle with the green cup. I was selling those two, three years ago for four or 500 pounds. They're now eight and 900 pounds. So, you know, just consider that when you're making your decisions. So enjoy, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, enjoy the update tomorrow and be back soon.